All right, let's bust out a video for you guys. This is a 2009 Toyota Highlander. Um, looks like this vehicle is dealer maintenance. Not too many things I could find wrong with it, to be honest with you. Parking brake pedal pad was missing. Tire light was on. It's here for exhaust. Customer requested center muffler assembly. I'm sure it was at the dealership and they said something to him. The front pipe shield, all the clamps were rusted off and rattling. on. I just removed that crap. We're using a Walker 47815 direct fit piece um you have to have, have to cut the oem front converter assembly and then clamp or weld we will not clamp we will weld and we're going to replace the spring bolts and gasket and we're going to reuse the rear resonator um so let me see if i can't do a video for you guys um and not have any issues but it is what it is this is real tv real video all right so let's let's watch it there will be cursing, there will be swearing, there will be people interrupting my videos. This is what it's about. Uh, so I don't know how this is going to go right at these bolts. They are pretty rusty, so I think I'm going to apply a little heat. You must apply a little heat to the hot mess. So what I'm going to do also is put a little wheel bearing grease on there. And as I heat, the, uh, heat these bolts in the back, that are pressed or spot welded in, the wheel bearing grease will liquefy and, and typically go down inside the threads. Not always, but in most cases. Uh, so let's get my airline. So I'm using air tools. I bring a whole socket set. Trusty 3.8 snap on gun. Baddest, baddest biatch on the planet. Settling my favorite fire. So we're gonna heat this up just a little bit and prevent any more issues from the back here. And if I get issues, I get issues. This is what it is. So I think they're, they were 14 millimeters. Let's see what size they are today. So the short burst is giving me a feel. <laughs> so beat the metal is becoming so weak. The OEM one has a vibration damper on it, the aftermarket does not. We will not be transferring. You wanna grab that? The hanger tool certainly makes things easy. I should have lubricated that, but I only do this almost every day, so. Sometimes you just gotta lubricate it. So this is the OEM stuff. It lasts a pretty long time. Um, 2008 to 2025, basically call it. Yeah. 10, 12 years. And it's not even a whole system. 2010. It's 17 years. 20 years. Yeah, almost 20 years. 17 years. Call it 17. Uh, all right, trash that and then help me install this. I don't like aftermarket spring bolts, but this is what I've got to deal with. If I don't have the right configuration spring bolts, I will reuse the old ones if they're still in good shape. So these threads actually fit. Not that I trust anything aftermarket for quality of fitting anything. So I'm matching the threads. I was just teaching Sierra how to tell what bolts are without looking them up on a chart or having a thread chart. I've been doing this so long. I'll tell you these are 10 millimeter 150. Sierra. Uh, so let's get a new gasket. Actually these are my favorite gaskets that are impregnated with that uh like it's like a lead. 
lead or something. I don't even know what that is. Put that in. Casket. Anger. Now this has to probably be bought. clamps that they sell that are like tubes. Yeah. We're not using that crap. Nope. We're not going to use a sleeve. Caleb's going to go over and bump that up. That's fun for the quiet flow too. Quiet flow is the best quality. <laughs> they do have some stainless stainless steel uh, muffler products as well. Um, most of the customers are looking for an affordable repair and we're trying to provide it for them. So this is part of that front shield clamp that was rusted off. I torched the remainder of it and threw it in the trash. So once he does that, I'm done with my torch as long as I don't have any more. Oh, Always make sure your acetylene, map gas, or propane torches are disabled completely. When you're finished with your tools, and sometimes you don't know when you're finished. We have a body shield here that's decayed. Uh, if there's a way to secure this, I will secure this. So we will secure this. We'll make sure you're not screwing into anything that's going to catch on fire or short out. self-tapping screws to put people's cars together with, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. Quiet Flow Series is the quietest. You can clamp this if you want to. We're not going to do that. Is that the donut casket back there on the ground? Yes. Caleb said donut gasket. Composite material gasket, yes. Uh, everything looks good. I probably should use a little red RTV. This flange is pitted, so let's get a little smidge of that. build these so they come with a bunch of different pieces to stagger it off of the flange so you can't just murder it down. I've murdered down some spring bolts, trust me. You do what you gotta do to get the job, the job done. And this just ensures a better quality job for the customer. And I'll actually even lubricate with this too. RTV high temperature silicone make up for any inconsistencies or wear in the old wall flange. Put that right in. And then you have to make sure the collets pass through the flange. They're probably not 14 months because aftermarket and even out. Everything aftermarket comes with different bolts. Different sizes. So now these are set. 17 millimeters. I think you're good to set Oh, 
the flang of the flang line. it's aftermarket it is what it is if I run these all the way up tight and the collets are in there right it compresses the spring and then the spring will transmit vibrations into the exhaust system if you loosen them up to where there's an air gap between the springs it allows them to to move what's nice about this as the gasket wears the spring bolts will continue to take up that gap that's what's nice about spring bolts so this fits decent here I mean it will be perfectly fine it's not OEM but it fits uh, this fits well it's gonna sound great I'm gonna weld this in uh, and you guys can watch put your welding helmets on or your sunglasses Contaminated rusted steel pipe. If it's in good condition, you can make it stick. You don't need to grind. Well, thing upside down is difficult. I will check it. Everything should be. I, for one, like to clean up all my tools as I'm going. But if I'm super busy, I will just throw all this crap on my tool cart and then put it away. But since I have to walk this way anyway. Two minutes. All right, so this is all welded in. I need to use this because I'm getting old. No leaks. No leaks. You're finished. Thanks for riding along. <laughs> 